Hey, hey, it's Sanford here. And today's pivotal insight is shape your world. Now, as I go along today, I will um, give some examples and um, talk about some experiences, personal experiences that I've had. As you know, when I am doing my videos and living my life, I only come at 100. I say it just like I believe it and just like it is in my reality. So I just want to be upfront with that. When I was younger, I wanted people to give me opportunities with the gifts, talents, and intelligence that I had worked for, trained for, and educated myself in. But I learned that I had to create those opportunities and build things that felt great to my heart. Now, it wasn't always easy. And I got to tell you, after my first two businesses, I, I wanted to give up. But that wasn't me. Giving up was never me. It's never, ever been me. And so now I'm creating, I have created a third entrepreneurial business. And I launched it this week. And to be honest with you, it's going pretty amazing. Uh, it's always going to have its hiccups, but <laughs> freedom, to have real freedom, you've got to pay the price ahead of time. And I've been paying the price for a long time, and that's all right. I, I got I to gotta tell you, like I always say at the end of my videos, love your mission, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Now, I'm not Tyler Perry or Denzel Washington, Will Smith, or... Jesse Williams wealthy, handsome, and I don't have the influential people that they have around them. But I've learned three of the most important lessons as a man. That school, society, and your bourgeois friends <laughs> will never teach or tell you. Now this message of course is not for everyone because as I mentioned, as a man, these are lessons that I learned. So this is really for the men today. So women, you can listen in, but it's for the men. After you've given your time, your talent, your many creative ideas, and your love to the people you believe in, will they still stand for you? Or will you no longer be a benefit to them once they've taken these things now, of course, I have an example of this from my own life, having my businesses and creating things. I had lots of people come in when I was creating these things and when I was benefiting them. But when I came at long, tough times, made some foolish decisions and came along some tough times myself, those people were gone and I was no longer beneficial to their lives. I had another friend who uh, when I worked in New York, I worked at his store, and uh, um, it was called American Mail. And a lot of the employees that worked for him, they used to go to these fancy parties he used to have, and they used to, you know, be all friendly, friendly in his face. But when customers would come into his store, they would talk behind his back. And when his business started going under, they would not only steal clothing from him, they would steal money from him. And some of them wouldn't open their own stores, and so they would also poach clients. Will these people that you believe in stand for you after you're no longer benefit to their life? Now, the second thing I learned is, now, don't come back to me on this because I've heard this from other women. Other women have told me this, and this is something that I've thought about. And I just wanted to express my opinion on it. So even though I said don't come back to me, if you got questions or you want to respond to that, please do. But the second thing is a lot of women are in relationships they're not happy with. Because they got into these relationships not for the character of their man's heart, but for the illusion of security and money. The example that I have of this 
is I have a friend who has spent his life being a financial genius. He's made millions and millions of dollars. And he's not been the most successful relationships. He's, he's had two marriages. And each of the marriages, the people that have been in those relationships, they didn't really care about the, the kids or, or the friends that they created. They wanted to get their share of the money. And they went to court and they went back to court again and they went back to court again and they ended up getting most of his money young men be aware that if you are involved with a young lady she should know the depths of your heart and if she doesn't even though it's hard you might want to separate from that situation before you and or her it's hurt in a very severe way. Hey, I'm just telling you what's going on in my world and how I see it. You can make up your own mind as always how you feel about it. And the third thing I learned is, and I think it's very important, is create something of your own. Real living is about the life you create. If you're creating a business, it will be tough. And it may or may not work out, but true freedom, true, to have true freedom, you've got to pay the price ahead of time. And i got to tell you, I've never been happier in the last 20, of my, 20 years of my life than I am right now. And it's exciting. It's exciting. I, I heard this quote, and I, I wanted to leave you guys with this quote. And it says, the realest people have the fewest friends. And that was a quote by Tupac, a great musical genius and a great man in my eyes. Well, as always, I want to thank you guys for listening. And, and men, I want you to know, follow your heart. Create something of your own. Ensure that the women you are with know your heart. And after you have given all your time, love, creative ideas, will the people that you believe in still stand for you? As always, my friends, love your mission. <laughs> Peace!